Hello everyone, welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the Asuma celebrating my stream anniversary. Apparently I've been partnered for nine years, isn't that incredible? Right, all the all the buttons have been pressed, all the, the things are good. I think we're good to go. Um, it's three minutes to the hour, which is when I'm supposed to start, but I was just sitting here watching Cub stream and I've got everything set up and I was like... Let's head over to Cub to do the handover, if we call it that. And let's take our horse to get there. Name tag. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I'm, I've got a feeling Twitch might have put some bells and whistles on the page to celebrate the stream anniversary. They sent me an email telling me about this new thing that they've done, which is very rare of them. So I appreciate getting an email, keeping me informed. Um, and yeah, so this time in March... Nine years ago, I was partnered with Twitch. Dang, you know? Dang, time goes by. Uh, we got Lucaro here for 63 months, bringing Evil X into the, his house. Thank you so much, my dude. Lamrek2002 here for 11 months. Appreciate you, appreciate you. Thank you for the support. And chat, let me know, like some of y'all already saying it. Ha happy partner anniversary. Thank you. Of, of Twitch added a bunch. Ooh. Fancy schmancy river going on here. Looking good. Looking good. Have, have Twitch added a bunch of, like I said, bells and whistles, things like that. I see y'all posting a lot of, uh, a lot of party hats. It's a party. I mean, in terms of doing anything special, I feel like this is a stream I've been looking forward to since I started working on the sale shop. Because we're going to go do some decor or work on the build over there essentially is is my plan right somewhere around here the paths need to converge and go to cub space it feels like a, an opportunity to me to create a glorious tunnel bridge path transition terrain to be traversed sights to be seen um everything is an opportunity in this game like I, an opportunity to get stuck in a tree. I, this could be perilous. This cliff is starting to look rather dodgy. Uh -huh. See, I know where I'm going. I just wasn't quite sure on the specifics. Um, aha, aha. It's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe. Thank goodness for it being safe. Oh, there's so much cool stuff going on over here. Big B. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome, awesome. Uh, it's generally, thank you so much for three months. And Hero Blender, thank you for 20. Jack LLL, thank you for the Prime, appreciate it. And thank you for the happy partner anniversary messages in chat. Nine years, nine years going strong, eh? Oh. <laughs> Be careful where I go here. Ooh, oh. Hey, this is, this is like, uh, oh, interesting. This is like the one we got in our base. Cub would probably be very interested then in seeing what I've got. Uh-huh. Hey, it's generally. Thank you so much for gifting subs. Might have to play the animation later. To oh, Foofy's gifting subs as well. I think I think we're unlocking the animation for later today. Um, because it's been a while since I played it and I want an excuse to play it, you know? The, the animations are cool. Manacle Maniac, Derp Phantom, Who Asked, Airship Girl, Hobo with Two Shotguns, what a username, Marked Panda, Sanguine Knights, Night Turbo, Requined, Sarasayas, Doug with many U's, Koreshi Urch, Mad Maddy, uh, y'all be good to subs, be sure to say thanks in the chat. It's always appreciated. Oh, by the way, Cub and Scar are just over there. Cherry Pie 84, very big, very generous donation. Thank you so much. I rewrote a message 10 times over to try and convey what Hermitcraft content means to people and every time I fell flat, so I just say thank you. Uh, that is all. As a hermit, I know exactly what you mean because I am also a Hermitcraft fan, okay? I am like Hermitcraft's biggest fan, in a way. I have spent my whole life... <laughs> my whole life? Since I was a child! No, I have spent the last 10 years just being flabbergasted by how amazing it is to be a part of this community. You know, um, I understand and I appreciate your uh, generosity ever so much. 
Okay, Cub and Scar appear to no longer be here. And it's time to pass the torch. Well, they're actually up the top there. Okay, Cub is coming. Where is Cub coming to? Does he know that I'm here? I would like to uh, talk to him about this farm here. Well, actually, oh, the, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Unmute. Unmute. Hi. There he is. Hello, X. Hi, Cub. How are X, you? X, X, X. How about this? How about oh, this? Go on, hit me with it. Stop stripping, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Dude, I was watching the stream earlier. I, I caught some of the uh, the old goat horn shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, it's coming soon. Coming soon. X, I got this uh, this box here. Oh. This is uh, a lore capsule. This is, this put... is the coolest idea for a stream torch. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is genius. This is genius X, right here. X, by the way. Yes. I'm going to give you some uh, some fireworks. Let's shoot off some fireworks to... Uh, Ooh, celebrate. Get, celebrate the start of your stream. The passing of the torch. Bam. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Colorful. Ooh, glorious. Nice one, huh? Ooh. Hey, I love some it. Good ones here. Yeah, this Decent is awesome. Ones. Nice. Weird. They have a little bit of randomization on them when they get to the top. Yours, I swear yours just like veered yeah. off to the side a little bit. Yeah, some of them do sort of drift a bit. Huh. Yep. Ooh, that's a good one. I like <laughs> they that. look so cool. They look so cool. I yeah, love that you're leaning the into the, them. Yeah, the ones with the trails are especially really good. Yeah. yeah. So is your firework factory thing around here somewhere? Like, wait, it's yeah, it's the there. factory. Yeah, with all the colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's not there. quite done yet. But it's blatantly it's there. <laughs> so you're using the crafter to like randomize, or is it like droppers randomize the ingredients and the crafters make them? Uh, there's a little bit of both. So the yeah, so the craft we're putting the stuff into the crafter, and then the crafter is crafting it. But mo mostly it's random. But there's some like bias because some things are like easier to get than others at the, at the moment. So I see, yeah. yeah. That's so yeah. cool though. I love that you're leaning into it. I also yeah. dang it, look at name tag trying to get away. Oh my god, these horses. They're like Dude, I, they got they want they to escape have a cool us. Down. They need to have a cooldown on like the AI. Like if if you've been off the horse for less than a minute, the AI just sort of I agree, I agree. Is off or something. <laughs> I agree. Um, I noticed this over here, by the way. This yeah. this concept that you've got going here with the redstone, this is this is really yes. clever. It's like pretty much unbreakable if the server restarts at an awkward time it might crash um you might be interested oh, yeah. in a farm that i built in loglands because it's this but the mm -hmm. redstone runs fast which may not be something okay. you even need but if you happen yeah to want i have that, i'm pretty sure like if we come down to the storage area down here i'm pretty sure like it's producing like way more than i need yeah it's, it's almost it's like three double chests of the. Oh, I'm bringing, the papers, I'm bringing name tag with me so everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's. It, I, I don't really think I need to go faster. It might like oh, start overflowing wow, to go faster. Fascinating. Yeah. Interesting. Well, yeah, that, that's cool. Maybe you I need to slow design. down my farm to get it to work better. Maybe it running fast isn't a great idea. So is yours like going back and forth like a bunch of times, like really fast? Or yeah, no, it goes as fast as it can go, I believe. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. This this is intentionally, like, pretty slow. Like, it, it, It's just giving me a lot to think about now. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Building building farms is always a curiosity, because I built mine with the idea that the bamboo would grow really tall. Right. But then, right. But then I'm, like, ah, you do all this stuff in creative mode, and you forget what it's like when you're in survival and it's practical. Because I yeah. run it nonstop, I mean... and it never grows tall. So it's like, it's... Yeah, it needs to be done like this. This is this is this much is, better. This has been really great. Like I, I didn't expect this to produce as much as it has, but this has been like an insane amount of stuff for just a small area. Like I was I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. Yeah, this is this is cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it into consideration because I gotta rebuild that farm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Sweet dude. I'm gonna celebrate one more time. Woo! Woo! All Let's four, go. let's check them out. Oh, glorious farm. Oh, those are nice, yeah. yeah. Those are good. Awesome, dude. Right, I'm going to go find an item to put in my lore capsule and and then crack on with the sales shop, which, oh, can I yeah. can I interest you in signing yeah, up go. 
You know about Let's it, don't you, it. Cub? Okay, have you got a horsey? I think I, I think I might actually have enough to buy the or get the first thing, like the yes. first. Uh, you only need a hundred sales. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm pretty close now. I have to check how much uh, Joe and Scar put in, but yeah, nice, close. Nice. Should we go well, over there? I mean, I can I can help you make up the difference, Cub. I'll be a happy customer. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah let's head let's over, go there. over there. Let's check um, it out. Yeah. Do you have like a do you have like a route to get round to that part of the server from here, or are you just like going over the terrain as is? Yeah, Cleo and I have some tentative plans for like a tunnel, but oh, right now you gotta cool. go over the mountain. So uh, over yeah, the mountain kinda, it is. <laughs> kind of rough. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Oh yeah, you got your wings. Okay, I'll see you there. I guess while uh, cut. Oh my god, this is gonna be hectic terrain, isn't it? While Cub is flying, I can catch up with some noises. Um. Let's see. Chimera Dev, thank you so much for 17 months. Really appreciate it. You're loving the season, especially the custom models that the Hermits are using. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we had Erin Dyer subscribing. Then we had Ludicrous Falcon with a massive sub bomb here. Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna skip reading the names today because I need to do some like creative building and I feel like I'm gonna distract myself a lot. So when it comes to gifted subs today, I gotta say, Ludicrous, thank you so much. Peeps, if you're watching, just have a little check in the chat and see if you got gifted one. If you did, of course, be sure to say thanks. And at some point today, we're gonna play the animation for the gifted subs as well. Uh, Bell Steven, 26 months, Armored Monkey, 66, Ultimate Wager here for six, and Angry K9 here for 107 months. That's an interesting number because nine years ago, totally not, um, totally not pausing to open a calculator. I'm just using my brain here. Nine times twelve equals 108. Fascinating. Yeah, uh, it's my nine-year stream anniversary. So, Angry Canine, you've pretty much been subbed the whole way, which is just superb. Ooh, I like that we're keeping maps like historical preservation at the land here um let's keep heading out like cubs waiting on us i gotta gotta be prompt here let's keep keep moving there's a bridge somewhere up ahead uh borset thank you for subscribing actuus thank you for 12 months siri lacrox whose name i probably butchered um <laughs> thank you for 500 biddies my chat just went absolutely wild i'm guessing that's the cub fan raid coming in right yeah, there it is. There it is. Welcome all the raiders. It is my sub anniversary on this Hermitcraft live stream day. Nine years of streaming, which is just bonkers. Uh, and the whole time I've had that, I think I've been pretty regular, pretty consistent, you know? Okay, we should see a wild cup fan. Oh, unless Cup went all the way to the other bit. I, I, I think actually Cup was going... Uh, for some reason, I thought we were going to meet like at his shop. No, I think he went... Oh, no, no, no. We got a flying cup. Hi. Hey. 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 I sent people over, X. Yes. Hopefully, thank yeah, you so much for that. Yeah. The they're, they're they're making my chat go crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. So, awesome. so yeah, should let's... we should we count up your sales and see if you you oh you got the diamonds on display as well? That's so cool. Yes. Yeah, so I got seventy three diamonds from Hypno for a custom order. Oh uh, yeah, I saw that. The, the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> the yep, cannon in his roof. Oh, you got so it. Cool. Okay, so then we got twelve from uh, Scar today, I believe. Dude, did that? Did that? They go off when you open a chest. Yep, they do. Oh <laughs> man, I love it. No, oh, that like is cool... that is shopping in style. These are the premium ones too. So like the, the regular ones, they don't do it, but the premium ones, you know, you got the fireworks going on. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Which is kind of neat, yeah. yeah. So we got we got twenty four <laughs> diamonds here. So I think. Oh, there's Dude. one here. Yes, 25. Okay. Fantastic. So 74. So I think we were one short. No, we're not one short. We got it. 26. You got it? Let's go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some anyway. Uh, how does this work? What, 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 do, what do I need to buy here? Okay. One diamond for two stacks. Yeah, that's good. One diamond. I'm going to buy I'm gonna buy a couple of... Uh, I'm going to buy four premium stacks here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Gonna, Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to set those off and celebrate in my stream today. Nice. Nice. Well, now that you've made 100 diamonds in your shop, you can be the yes. proud owner of a trophy to put on display and I'm show your success. Only issue is, Cub, um, it's a bit hard to get to this next spot. Like, it's all secluded near the Hermit Permit okay. office. 
Yep. That place is kind of tricky to find. All right, you show me the way. Show me the way. I'll show you the way for sure. Oh, this is... <laughs> I saw this earlier today. This is the uh, the cave where Joe put... I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw this and I was like, what is happening? Yeah, there's a bunch of dirt. I'm not really sure exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it what distributed is... like this? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of cool, though. I'm, I'm, it I'm is. just going to leave it be. <laughs> It is. Well, yeah. it's, it's out of the ordinary, and jeez, uh, there's, it, there's yeah. enough ordinary in this world, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. You with me? I'm, I'm Na name name tag's a little zippy, you know. Got to use those rockets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll fly over this way. Cool. Yeah, there's a temporary dirt bridge here. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Come on, name tag. Come on. Over the hill, round the corner. Oh, oh, I made it, I made it. Whew. He makes it, he makes it. Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah. This oh, is you the got spot. the horse stall here, too. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah, I keep falling in those holes. They're uh, they're for horses, not for humans. All right, is this, the, is this the first trophy here? This is, yeah, this is, uh, over here is the trophy display room. I like to show everyone this room first, so you know, like, what you're competing for. The right, trophies right. are colorful, though, so you're just getting, like, a, a bit of a hint as to what's to come in this room. Okay. Now the sign up is There's just more. over here. There's a ten thousand. Yeah, man. Jeez. Now, I when I was picking these numbers, I just didn't know how far this could go. But then I yeah. thought, like, rather than lowball it, like, what if someone did get ten thousand? That would be so cool. So like, let's go high, and I can have more if like lots of people get to ten thousand. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. That's cool. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Here's where you can pick up your first trophy. Oh, I sold one. Nice. Someone Let's else go. has signed up. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, ten diamonds. Nice. You gotta put these in an item frame or on an armor stand. Okay. Don't okay. place it on the ground like Ren did, because it'll break it. Oh. oh yeah, is it a pumpkin? Oh, no. Yeah, it's a car. Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Okay, gotcha. This it's is amazing. Actually, yeah, this is great. Thank you, thank you. I mean, like the the idea was mine. Often, you know, coming through with some amazing trophies here. These are just incredible so uh yeah, often really nice. really making it land visually you know sweet yeah yeah for sure oh apparently false is the one who signed up nice right, i gotta separate these diamonds i'm gonna get one though i'm gonna get one awesome awesome uh, these oh i'll get i'll get out of your way i might be picking up your boxes right i know right, we got it we got it okay I'm gonna get this guy here there we go and yeah, I was supposed to check something when I was in the shopping area. I think I've got a great idea for my lore capsule. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good when you hold it, too. It's really nice. Yeah, it's cool. It goes on your head. It does all of that stuff. Oh, right. I can put it. Oh, there we go. Apparently, 10k diamonds is 17.7 stacks of diamond blocks. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot. That's a... Dude, what happened to your eye? Got like... Uh... Oh, oh yeah. Dude. So, oh, and your hands, dude. man. Dude. It's been yeah, You've been going wild been, with these rockets. Like what's happening? The, the fireworks have been uh <laughs> yeah, I, there's a lot of dies that have happened. I got too close <laughs> to one of them. So Yeah, a little bit of soot on me cuz I got oh, too close to one of the fireworks. Yeah. That's terrific, man. That's terrific. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I got oh. I got to wash the hands soon, but uh at least the lab coat's clean, you know. Yeah, the, you so. kept the lab coat clean somehow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just all yeah, landed on the bad. hands. Yep. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Thank you for signing up, Cobb, man. It's good to have you Cheers, in the competition. Man, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Fun. Do we? Is there like a dedicated spot to put this, or do we put it like near our shops? Or it's kind of it's kind of your choice because you can do it like as an individual, as a shop, or a collective. Um, so it's kind of up to you. I, I would recommend putting them them on display at your shop. It's like a badge of honor, you know. Yeah. Here's yeah, a I quality like shop. We've made a lot of diamonds here. You know. Yep. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I'll put it outside the, the shop somewhere. In like a good nice. spot. I can't wait to see that. That's so cool. Yeah. Sweet. All right, Cub, thank you so much for coming by. I'm going to be uh, in the area working on this building because uh, you, you'll notice that it's it's basically a front and it doesn't have a roof or a back. <laughs> right, yeah. So you got to... <laughs> i got work to do. Put some stuff up. Put some walls up here. Yeah, okay. It's fantastic, man. Yeah. All right, Sweet. well, thanks, X. I will, thank you again uh, for the you rain. Then. Yeah, have a good stream, man. Later. See ya.
All right, peeps. Uh, we should probably we should probably make it uh, daytime around here, right? Like, where's my bed at? Not that one, yeah. Silly ghost. I know exactly where it is. Right, we got noises in the air to get caught up on. Uh, Dardarech, thank you so much for gifting a whole bunch of subs here. Crazy amount of subs coming through. Joel Lurch, thank you for your 22 months. Timmy Ren 404 with 16. Elliot draws for five. Heart Gamer 26 for five as well. Queen Shazzy coming in with the gifted subs. The Grumpy Bunny. Three months right there. Baytan Daniil for 37. Electra. Airway Monkey, thank you for subscribing. Fabulously here with some cheers and bits with the party hats. Appreciate you. Haley Bailey gifted subs. Lul. Lou Len, oh my god, I'm gonna butcher her name here, aren't I? More gifted, so many dudes, people. Thank you so much for your generosity, and uh, we're gonna take a moment here to thank people. I always want to do that. Kuro Gaming, Alice, not Alice, Saka J90 coming back for 37 months, Martin Cook for five, Catlin Bus here, Armored Monkey gifting a sub to Hypnotize. We've got Hypno, a fellow hermit, hanging out in the chat. Biochemical Mayhem for two, Crayonet. Subscribing Queen Shazzy with like another 10 gifted subs. Insane. Srilic Lacroix, who's the, I'm sure I'm butchering your name. Thank you for another 10 gifted subs. Holly with some cheers and biddies. Paws Outdoors with the Prime. Miduna subscribing. Anonymous, I love your poetry. Another five gifted subs. Freckled Fox with cheers and biddies. Uh, Sub IG with about 10 gifted subs here. Oh my goodness me. Minstrel. It's generally here with the cheers and bits. Diamond trophy should go in the law box. Yes, yes. Okay, let's walk and talk. You were thinking the same thing I was thinking. And there was a reason. There was a reason I wanted to check. Uh, we'll, do, we'll do this one on foot. I know we've got name tag nearby. There was a reason I wanted to check my shop. Because I stocked it up with the intention of hoping to sell out again. And get the second tier diamond uh, trophy thing. Uh, no petit ropetit with the prime. Thank you so much. Freckled Fox for more cheers and biddies. Goofy me for 10 months. Queen Shazzy, more gifted subs. Goodness me. This list just don't end at the moment. <laughs> Roddy Punk, thank you for resubscribing for four months. Miduna, thank you so much for gifting subs. We got Night Sport here for 30. Unplugged Gamer coming up with the prime. Uh, Duty Pupes for cheers. Oh my god, almost fell in a hole. For cheers and biddies. I'm, I'm literally trying to walk here while looking at another screen, you know. Uh, Alex, Sophie, thank you Ooh, so much. Debocharella, uh, thank you for 500 biddies. And Jane X, I thought I was caught up. Thank you for the prime. Nikatori, gifting a sub to Doc M. We got Doc M watching too. Welcome, Doc. Bell Steven, gifting up five subs. Thank you so much for your generosity. Uh, Robinite. Here with the price. Timmy Wren, uh, 404. I don't know how many that is. That might be. That's got to be at least 50. Dude. You know. You people are insane. Thank you so much for your support. And you know what? You... People, calm down. Another 10 coming in. Goodness me. Calm down, people. Look. Um, I usually like to read out all the names one by one. But it's going a little crazy today, so look, you might be gifted one. Checking in the chat. Say thanks to these wonderful people supporting our community here. No more diamonds. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it don't look good. No. I can't give myself the 250. So what I'll do is I'll make a... I'll just put the 100 in and then make it like a commemorative we just launched the sale shop. This is this is a time capsule, so the time is right to say like we have just launched the sale shop and we've got like uh four people signed up. I'm losing track here. We got like Flair Fort Oh my goodness me. Flair Fortress, thank you for subscribing and gifting subs as well. That is so kind of you. Uh Nikatori is gifting a sub to Iskal. We've got another hermit watching. Whew. Of all these hermits watching, I gotta encourage them to come over to this fine establishment. Let me tell you what my plan is for today, okay? The most exciting thing that we're going to do, right, of all the ideas that I've got, is that we're going to exchange, right, a very mild colored block for an equally mild block in a different tone. 
Oh, that's right, people. That light gray terracotta that I used, we're gonna we're gonna change it with brown mushroom blocks. Oh, the subtlest of differences. Get excited for that. I mean, literally, your eyes, you know, won't be able to tell the difference. I, but I hope it looks better. Um, some of the less interesting things we're gonna do. We're going to build the roof and put like a color code system on it, which will start to make sense as the season expands. Uh, expand. Does the season expand? I think a season expands. I don't know. Um, and then we're going to actually make this room bigger at the back and create a leaderboard. I had a suggestion to put a leaderboard in and I thought I can actually track everything through the mail system. I only sell the first level here. So we will track everything else through the mail system i have no idea if i have any mail yet um and and that way you know anyway i, I was thinking this leaderboard could go back here oh no no can it not oh i want to have my secret entrance through the middle i think there is a solution here actually that's two can i can i not get like a four i don't get a four here Wait, this doesn't make no sense. Like, okay, wait, then break it? No, oh, I'm being a I'm being a wally. I know what to do. That's the what that's no! Oh, you have to put you have to put signs. Thank you, chat. Yes, you have to have some sort of block there. Okay. Okay. We get there in the end, we get there in the end. Let's grab this one right here. Let's grab this one. Okay. Uh, Nikatori, thank you for gifting a sub to Impulse, to Grian, and Joe Hills. Now I'm starting to suspect that these gifted subs... Like, you can give subs to people that don't have to be live. Um, thank you for gifting the Hermits subs. They might be here, they might not, but... Uh, yeah, I appreciate the, the gifted subs. What else do I need, like? I'm, I'm really bad at crafting stuff because I always try to use as little resources as possible which just doesn't make any sense because you're always in this game you're always going to need some more of whatever that thing was later on okay I'm going to go with bamboo signs here and then can I just about aim there I can beautiful this will allow us to have exactly what I wanted Oh, I actually like that skull one as well. So now we can plop through here and go into like a secret area, which will have the leaderboard. That will have the leaderboard. Now, as for the time capsule, I got to pass this on to Joe Hills later. So for now, I'm going to plop it down outside and y'all are going to help me not forget it. Now, as I can see, these are... <laughs> Squirt upon juice sack. Earlier today, right? Okay, I was, I was working out. Hey, Biffer in chat. Good to see you, my dude. Hope you're doing well. Um, I, I was I was working out, and the way that I work out is that I do a couple of sets, and then I like walk on the treadmill for a couple of minutes, and then go back, do the next sets. So the stream was on. I was like, I can probably get a Twitch on my stream, right? <laughs> so I got it on. Ren was streaming. I'm on the treadmill, walking for two minutes. Then I go like into the other room. And, and like, I'm, I'm lifting these weights and I'm hearing Ren saying stuff about squirting juice all over the place. And I am trying not to crack up. <laughs> it was so silly. Like, what is Ren on about squirting juice? And then I, I, I found out eventually uh, that that was what he was on about, his custom biome. This is the one that I want, the functional. That will have an anvil. Anvil will allow us to rename this beautiful thing right here. Uh, let's 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 go in and type like sales shop launched and launcher. Come on, get the right letters in. And then I want to type the word rocket into the emoji thing on Windows. And there's a rocket for it. Perfect, because rockets they get launched. Okay, now you know me. I love to do my name formatting. So let's go ahead. Trigger format name. Um, take the italic off, make it bold, and nice shiny diamond color. Sales shop launch. That is our little memento for later on in the season. We will know that on this fine day was around the time that the sales shop was launched. Hey, gifted subs coming in for Gemini Tay, Rendog TV, Miss Gold Fox, who is not a hermit, Vintage Beef, Efo TV. It's like everyone's figuring out 
all the hermits and gifting them subs. Amazing. Um, we also had Kerika69, Fork Therapy subscribing, Eternal Sanchal. Thank you so much for 500 biddies. Um, and Tangled, thank you for subscribing. And we are all caught up. No, we're not. Luke Adam Sun 66. Thank you for your prime. Appreciate it ever so much, peeps. Appreciate it. Right, how do we get started here? Okay, I think I'm going to do that really uh, unbelievably exciting thing first. Because y'all are like, what is this? What is this block that is going to get changed? Right, the brown mushroom block, I think, is a better fit than this one. What do you think, chat? What do you think? Maybe the mods can put together a poll. If we have ample support, I will change all of the blocks. That is my pledge. Because I think it looks better, and I think it's worth changing. But we need consent here. We need we need a group decision, you know? So mods, if you'd be so kind as to set up a poll, that would just be superb. And uh, we'll be going with the results of the poll to figure out if we're going to do that or not. Now, as for this building, um, we got to take some keen inspiration from our fellow hermits. It's about adding details that, that say something, you know, a little moss growing off the roof, a ventilation shaft on the side, a dump truck at the back. This is, this is what we're going to be missing. Um, that's what I have not done, right? I feel like down in this area, I'm probably going to have a bunch of bushes growing up the side there. So this is probably more done here than not. Also got to figure out like how we're going to incorporate this here. Like there are some clear structural changes. Where did I get those cyan ones from? Where did I get these from, peeps? Oh, I know. They were behind the paintings. Yeah. Patrice Bart, thank you so much for 39 months of support, my dude. Hope you're enjoying the stream, having a good time. Where are my building supplies for this? <laughs> oh my god. Inventory management, eh? Like, there's a lot of blocks when it comes to building. So, for this, like here, I was going to put basalt in, and it's quite, like, it's quite heavily textured. Like, these blocks are really quite flat, so when it comes to mixing them with others, when, when you try and get similar shades and they got a lot of texture, it's the kind of thing that doesn't work too well. If you're uh, close up, I find. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm thinking maybe this thing that comes off the side here is actually like uh, a different material or something along those lines. So I can, no, I think that's going to give me just enough space to build something over here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to put down some shapes to begin with. Be nice to have like a suitable material as well that I think um, could fit the bill here. Hmm, not sure, not sure what texture I actually want to use coming off. I think I'll use like light grey as a bit of a, a marker for now. But rather than this stuff around it, we're gonna have like a contrasting texture pop pop out. Unbelievable. The other day I was on here and couldn't see the stream. It was just black. Turns out that control plus toolkit was breaking the stream for me. Don't know what that is, but uh, sounds like you figured out the, the root of your problems. So yeah, what I'm getting at is essentially uh, we're going to have some sort of structure like this here. I think I'll actually make that go a little closer to the redstone. GG on your partnership anniversary, Asuma. It wanted me to say it to you in Dutch. You'd be most welcome to, but I think we have like an English only rule. Hole in chat. I didn't do it wrong, says Bear. Congratulations on doing it correctly. That is, I hear the best way to do things. Uh, Bibic, thank you so much for 500 cheers and biddies. Immense. Immense. Thank you so much. Yeah, so we're going to have like some sort of like blocky build that comes out here. It occurs to me now, uh, like, I really wanted to do this on stream, but we're probably going to do more of, like, the shaping and other stuff because being creative in survival is tricky. Um, this mod right here helps you so much, but it's not, it's not the same as having that creative menu. That's where you can browse and then figure out, like, oh, I can use this thing, I can use that thing, you know, 
and see all those textures. Because then we have to go gather those textures, right? Like, I feel like this over here is a good shout. Using some of the concrete powders, maybe some andesite and stone. But yeah, we're going to have some sort of structure like that here, essentially. So that's that part of the building. Right, um, I, we'll probably invent some sort of backdoor for the redstone if we need it at some point. Okay, and then we're going to have like something on the roof and then the leaderboard. These, these are going to be tricky things to figure out. Poll results. I'm waiting on my um, mods to share me the poll results. I didn't say that, so... Um... Yeah, if y'all would be so kind as to share, that would be awesome. That's the block I was thinking of, the mushroom stem. It look really cool around there. Uh, Badger says, you read the blog the other day. You're glad I liked Wargasm. They're one of my favorite bands at the moment. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, speaking on them being good live, like they, they give me this feeling when I listen to them like they're uh, a cool live band. Peeps, I'm just trying to take a moment. Like, it's been a while since I've had this many people tuned in. Last year, I made uh, I made the record, you know? The one that had been weighing on my mind for 10 years. So if you haven't heard it, you know, it's a legit full-on record. Properly produced. I've had, like, amazing feedback and, and stuff on it. And if you haven't heard it, it'd be so cool if you took the time to check it out. Just uh, Soulside Eclipse on... You know, the, the streaming platforms, the Spotify's, the this and the that. Those things. What genre is it? It's uh, symphonic metal. Symphonic black metal. It start, you know, like, give it, even if that sounds like it's not your thing, give it a try. Because there's a lot of melody in it. There's a lot of bright stuff. It goes on a bit of a journey from, like, bright to dark and then ends, ends on a curious note. Um, I just, I've opened up my web browser here because I just want to count the other hermits and make sure I get this right. Also, I could include myself in this list. We got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 hermits. Someone the other day said there's 28 of us. I feel like, hmm, I thought it was 28, 27, yeah. Okay, so like how many, how, like if I want to have a leaderboard, right? Like how wide is 27 here is what I'm thinking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27? Did I count? Oh my god, it's like, it's like it's almost perfect for, uh, three rows of nine. Hmm. Oh! Okay, that puts a different idea in my head then. Initially, what I had envisioned here was, like, everything in a row. But I could actually just sort of have, like, walls of nine. And the other thing is, like, what's the height of what I'm going to build next? Because we're going to have this secret entrance... <laughs> uh, like, do I, do I want to walk into this room and be, like, at its height so we've got this massive chunky thing sticking out? Or do I want to lower it down? I kind of feel like I want to lower it down. Decisions, man. Always decisions. Also, like, do you know it's a really great block? Okay, ender poles are great. Represent. Uh, what we got here? We got... Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put some rockets in in there. We're gonna clutter up our inventory so much. Scaffolding, great block, great block. Uh, Gem Songers, thank you so much for the cheers and the biddies. I have been using it as a sleep playlist and I love it. Oh, awesome! The music, right? Dude, thank you so much. I, I. For those of you that do not know me, oh, we're gonna talk about music today now because I got a new guitar that I want to talk about. Um, music, music is like. Is, is like, I don't know how to, de how to describe how much it means to me. It's been the one thing in my life that has always made sense. Uh, it's been the one thing I felt like I could always rely on. 
and it's always filled me with joy, helped me through hard times. It's, for me, music is just like this constant uh, wonderment that never fades. And, you know, like, not just hearing it, but like creating your own, all, all of this stuff, it just fills me with joy. And, yeah, I, I've, I, you know, I, I write music as well as, as well as listen to it. And uh, I, I wrote this record like 10 years ago. I was really into writing music and I got totally distracted by all this Minecraft Hermitcraft stuff. And it's been a beautiful distraction, don't get me wrong. Like I have had such an amazing time, but it's like, it's so strange. Like I'm, I'm known for something, mostly known for something very different to actually what's dearest most to me. Uh, not to say that Hermitcraft isn't dear to me and things, but it's just, it's always been a little strange thing for me. And that album was just a weight on my shoulders. It was always this thing in the back of my mind. Like, you never got that finished. And now that it's been done, I've freed that weight. And it's been an absolute pleasure. Like, I never did it to hear what anyone else thought about it. it uh, all that ever mattered to me was that I, I made the record that was, like, in me the whole time. And, uh... Yeah, the, this now now I have this weird experience that I never thought I'd have, which is like a whole bunch of people listening to it and telling me what they think. Because when I was making that record 10 years ago, it's over 10 years, like 13 years or whatever. Um, there was no way I was ever going to have like a big audience to listen to it or anything like that. I just didn't have that connection or resource or anything. And so it's been like a complete surprise to see uh, all these people like loving it and saying nice things about it, which I really appreciate. Okay, I need to... This is... This is awful. I... <laughs> I dislike this game's inventory management so much. Like, there are too many systems. That is the one that remains in the shot. Oh my god. There are too many systems. There is... Like, this stuff just all needs to be simplified. Because you are forever just in a mess of items. Trying to figure out how to do the thing that you just thought. I just thought, oh, you know, I need some white concrete powder and now you're on a mission now you're on a mission right to make white concrete powder by the time you've made it you've forgotten why you're making it i am <laughs> gonna go on a run if i'm not careful right let's pop our things down outside let's try and be a little bit more organized here i don't want to moan about inventory stuff uh, because i have the means to make this right it just it always takes a bit of work like white wall is okay yeah we've got a bunch down there then we get our white dye. And you know, I can, I can make it on the fly. Because we got an organized here. Right, the other thing that I need is an empty shulk box. I was supposed to have an empty one with me today. Because look at this, I'm just accumulating, you know, stuff. <laughs> Put the armor back on. Okay, looking a little cleaner now. I can, I can, oh. Just relieving a little bit of stress. I also need light blue concrete, don't I? Goodness me, it never ends. It never ends. Uh, not a crazy... Actually, yeah, might, might need a fair bit of that, actually. Yeah, and I seem to be allergic to uh, wasting resources, but it, it just means I end up wasting time. Okay. Uh, Cherry Pie 84, thank you for the cheers and biddies. Sumer's album is awesome, guys. Check it out. I was blasting it on the way to work yesterday. Definitely a great way to start the day. Thank you so much again. I truly appreciate it. Uh, is Danny is here for 16 months. Say nay, 16 months. I don't know what else to say other than I love your videos and streams a lot. Also, your new guitar looks awesome. I hope we will see you play it someday soon. Yeah, I was thinking I might... Um, like, I've been really just focused on, like, living in the moment on Hermitcraft and just enjoying recording every day and throwing out the episodes as I make them. But I could take off, like, half a day to, to do a video or something. I, I might do that. Um, the new guitar is so good. Like, it's it's kind of exactly what I was looking for. You see, I went down to the, uh, the shop to, like, play it and ask some questions and... The guy I spoke to basically said that, like, you know, if you're a rhythm guitar player and you're not using your Floyd Rose, your Floyd Rose is essentially uh, going to give you 
hassle, you know, which it's it hasn't really given me so much hassle as it's just limited what I can do because it's tricky to change tuning on a Floyd Rose like the guitar kind of gets comfortable with the tuning you put it in and when you try and change it like it's it's just awkward the, the way the mechanics of it work it doesn't hold or change its tuning very well and they were basically saying look if you don't if you're not trying to use that whammy and take advantage of it like what's the point and i thought yeah like why would i and, and they were saying you, you can indeed buy a hardtail guitar and you know you'll get your value out of it because the floyd road is is expensive and so so i got this uh i played a few different guitars and i played the ibanez iron label which is one that's built for metal it's really sturdy the finish on it is like everything is black it is a very sleek guitar and it sounds so good and it feels so good to play like I, I just started playing some songs that I haven't played in a while and like the guitar was easier to play and it was sturdy and I could really you know chop out some some chugging metal tunes so I felt like I, I really got a good guitar there I, I almost want to get like a, another one <laughs> and put that in a different tuning like this one will hold like I basically I want to pick up a guitar and not have to tune it but I think I think I'll be good to like switch it into drop D. So rather than have like two guitars for the drop and the regular tuning, like I can I can hold, or, or maybe even just have like this guitar sort of go between two different tunings, so you don't tune it up and down too much. But uh, but yeah, like it, it's just got me excited to play again, basically because well I was already excited to play, but it, it just it just feels like I got the right guitar for me what can i say you know um right the next thing that i want to do is remind myself of the color scheme that we had here i'm gonna have to go oh okay uh mushroom block won the thing so we'll go do the mushroom block changing real soon um right what am i looking at here uh, da, 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 da. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try and find an image to remind me of what colors I need. Oh wow, I sent a picture. That is so handy. That is so handy. Now I know exactly what I want, right? Because we're gonna build something on the roof here. But we need the right color scheme. So it's like a rainbow, but it's not the Minecraft rainbow. As you'll see, we're skipping some colors. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's get that back to normal over here. Uh, Dante Red Eye, thank you for 50 months, my dude. The Hunter 07168. Thank you ever so much for your Prime subscription. Appreciate it. It's amazing the difference a well-constructed guitar makes. Got a Martin acoustic a few years back and it was more comfortable to play than my electrics at the time. Yeah, a well-constructed guitar does indeed make the difference. I've just brought the iron label. I can compare it to this cheap knockoff guitar that I brought and like it really, like the difference, it screams it at you, you know? Uh, it's, it's a really, I feel like it's a really good investment in me enjoying playing guitar. And I'm keen actually to get another one. Like, I've just been exploring different tunings lately, and and it makes me want to have more guitars so I can just pick up and play whatever I feel like, but not have to switch between tunings. But now that I got like a proper hardtail for shredding on, kind of makes me think I can probably hold like two different tunings on it, like go back and forth between them, and then also go into drop. So that's like four different sets of songs that I can chew through because uh the way the way that i do it is like i find out if i can play a song or not and then it goes on a playlist and then over time like certain songs in those playlists i learn to play them maybe not straight away but i get them all in this folder so like when i play guitar i've just got like a list of different tunings pick one up comes this big list of songs and I can just like get stuck in and uh, and play these songs and just have a fantastic time. It's like I play a little concert for myself or something. I, I just 
door playing. Right, I think what we'll do is I was kind of tempted to put this thing in the middle, but like let's actually go just put this over to the side and not even think about it that much, right? Um, we're going to attach a little something here that'll kind of signify something about what we're doing. Let's go like that. One, two, three, tool. Then I need an additional block, and then that's like the roof of what we're putting here. Uh, let's start with pink over this side. There we go. And uh, the rest of this will fall into place just nice. On the fritz! Thank you so much for 1,000 biddies. Thank you so much for your generosity, my dude. Very kind of you. I'm sure you said it 100 times before, but who did the cover up for your album? Or is that your own design? Uh, I, I want to double check I get their name right, just because I deal with so many... Uh, so many names. Oh, boy. I'm bad at remembering names, you see. And I just, like... It's not coming to me right now. Being being online and like working with people over the internet and being a streamer who like reads out tons of names, it is just hard to remember everyone sometimes. Uh, but you know, they, they they came from my community and they did just such a stunning job. I was I was very worried about being too nitpicky and stuff, but we found a process that worked. And uh, they made something just incredible. I was originally going to do this like, you know, it was it was never my plan when I started that record to do singles or anything like that, really, as a promotional strategy. But these days, bands that have been really successful at releasing music tend to just release a lot of singles, like even every song on the album because of the nature in which you can drop them on Spotify and it synergizes with algorithms and stuff. Um, that's been that's been like a popular thing to do. And I was thinking about getting like one piece of artwork for every track. And that just like opened a can of worms of like trying to find the ideal image to like say what the song was about. And I spent I spent many evenings working on that. And I just realized this is chewing up time and it doesn't make sense. And I don't care to try and play the music promotion game. That's not why I'm doing this. So I just settled on uh, the original concept and uh, got a piece of additional art made alongside it in case I ever needed it for something else. And uh, they both turned out really good in the end. Okay, going to put in these lines just to help us, you know, slowly piece this whole thing together. Because I don't know quite where it's going, but we're doing it a step at a time. Uh, Kikanu, thank you so much for 19 months. Very much appreciate it. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel. What's my Spotify? It's Soulside Eclipse. If you want to go check out. So many people are saying uh, happy partner anniversary. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, nine years on Twitch. Do you like Dream Theater and Anathema? Oh, my goodness me. So many years since I listened to them. I, I love so much metal. You know, there's a good chance if you could name it, I'd probably like it. I am uh, a non-elitist metalhead. Like, I like... I like... Stuff that's metal, stuff that's slightly metal, stuff that's metal mix of other stuff. Like, I'm good. I'm, I'm easy. I try and find reasons to enjoy music, you know. Yeah, I think, uh, I think behind this we'll just have some sort of flat surface. I think I'm out of that material as well now. Um, if we just jump over here, like, that is a cool little addition. I think the placement of it was just about right. Uh, this roof over here, I noticed some iron blocks. Look at that. We've got a, we've got a little bit of a cleaner vibe going on here than that this shop, I think. Like, um, we need to take inspiration. I, I work so well with something to look at and draw from. I don't think I want to go with stone on my roof, though. Like, it feels like... What's a complementing material that could look good next to this? Um, iron blocks, I thought, might. But maybe not. We might have something available to us. Um, but we're going we're gonna to bounce around all over the place. We, I think next what we'll do is have a little chat while we replace uh, these blocks. Right? Because we said we'd do that. Then we'll come back to this idea of creating a leaderboard room. Rosie BB, 
Thank you so much, Curls. You're absolutely on the ball there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Rosie. Yeah. Uh, did an amazing job. Was really wonderful to work with. And, uh, yeah, they just, they, they made it happen, you know. <laughs> they helped make it happen. Polished tough block. Yeah, tough, tough's got this weird little, like, tone to it that, I don't know, something about it makes it feel like it could be more, uh, usable with more blocks in this game, but for some reason isn't. It's just got this, like, little itch of colour in it. I can't describe it. Like, it's, like, slightly... Actually, now that you say it, it's slightly cyan, is it? Maybe it would fit with it. Maybe Toph would be the one. Oh, and another idea I had here was to do a pass and add in a few more um, bricks, like, little dents in the bricks. I don't think you need a crazy amount, but some can go a long way. Oh, my God, where are my building supplies? Where are they? Greenish tinge. Yeah, it's like a... Ah, uh, uh, where are they? It's like a... What's turquoise? That's the one. The one that's like between green and blue and like sometimes people disagree on what it is. Where are my... I feel like I've lost a shulker. Here it is. Oh my god, they're right here. Any leftover bricks? Doesn't look like it, does it? Dude, those two are so similar. We could probably actually use both of those. Okay, where are the bricks at, homie? Like, man needs stairs right now. <laughs> I love saying that. Because it's always like, man need ting, yeah? Man need ting. And <laughs> I, find that's, I find that's that kind of talk so goofy. Um, but I am a massive goofball as well, so I'm like repurposing the goofiness for my own needs, you know? If that makes any... That's what's going on in my head. If that makes any sense to anyone out there, you know. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Boyaka shot. <laughs> it's the road man, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Uh, who was that? Alara Tenny. Yeah, road man Asuma right there. Man need ting, yeah? <laughs> Alright, blood, isn't it? Um, here we go. Yeah, mixing both of those actually is real nice. I'm going to go with that. I think f having that as well, three is like probably too many. Um, so yeah, we just want to make that addition here. I feel like that's a nice subtle change to have. And we will have it. Ugh, ugh. That just says I went to school with so many people who sounded like that. Me too, me too. Especially if you're from, like, the London area, it's a lot more common. L London is, like, a very multicultural place. And so there is, like, a lot of, uh... Like, I'm having a bit of fun, but, like, if you want to be serious about it, like, there's a lot of, uh... Like, cultural backstory to that kind of... It's like, it's like a, a mesh of different, uh, cultural accents and stuff that have come together. Uh, we kind of we kind of done a lot of that. Kind of done a lot of that, haven't we? Now we get to do a little bit more. This is where I think it will come into its own a bit better. Just down the bottom here. I think I might have overdone it as well. Like we probably want to have a few more uh, bricks just here and there. Ah, and that's the thing about the mushroom block, right? When you first place it, you get them on all sides. And then if you break a block next to it, it actually change the texture on one of the sides. Yeah, that's looking so good now. Right, I think we've got to bounce our way up to the top. A couple more blocks up there. And back in the day when people were either buff or butters. I don't... Buff or butters? I don't think I knew that one. But it's, it sort of sounds a little familiar. A brick's always been multicolored. Oh, that's my vanilla tweaks pack. What I, what I like about that one, out of all the different vanilla tweaks, is like... 
some like some will add things to the game that you notice when they're not there but the colored bricks one it feels like a build still feels like the build you made if you've got it or not which i really like you know um so i really like that vanilla tweaks one we should probably put a few bushes down there and it feels like it feels like there should be something up there i'm just not sure what Also, does this thing need like a cyan pillar here? I, I don't think I should, but it, it almost feels structurally like it needs something like that. Uh, Uber Mouse loves vanilla tweaks. You got them installed everywhere. That's cool, dude. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, Aka Karumba, thank you so much for the prime. And Eretic, thank you for five months. I always enjoy the calming atmosphere of your streams. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. A combination of uh, the music as well, I think. Uh, but thank you. Glad you, you enjoy it. Right, what did I say? Boucher's next? Uh, something I've loved doing lately this season is just like... Doing decoratives with bushes has been really enjoyable. Oh, I've got some birch leaves. Uh, we might go work on the promenade a little bit. I wanted to place down some birch leaves over there. We might have to go work on the promenade a little. Okay. Right, let's, get, let's get a mix of things here. I don't think I want to go too crazy with it as well. Maybe just like uh, just a little bit around here, you know. And then uh, it gets a bit congested and builds up over in this spot. A couple in the ground, I think, always goes a long way. Oops. Maybe even back there too. Subtle, but you know. Yeah, the ones in the ground, I think, make a bigger difference there. That's that's nicely balanced. That's exactly kind of what I was going for. Um, yeah, right. Tough blocks on the ceiling. I think we need to investigate. Because if I take a trip down to the promenade... <laughs> I take too much pleasure in using that word, I tell you. I take too much pleasure in using that word. Uh, I will... I will be able to pick up some more tough blocks. So let's investigate. No, not rocks. The other rocks. Tough rocks. Lunar Eclipse, thank you so much for your uh, subscription. Thanks for supporting the channel. It's appreciated. It's a nice word, not gonna lie. Yeah, and I I, um, I watched Deep Space Nine during the pandemic and absolutely loved that show. And I really like that character as well. The one who, who what's, his, oh, what's his name? Otto or something. You know, taking a stroll down the promenade and uh, I, I just I just thought like it was an awesome character and I like, I like the the way he said that word Odo that's it not Otto Odo yeah that's the guy that's the guy yeah I think I think what we would do is just come down a level again and place tough blocks okay Yeah, I, I think I think I'm gonna end up starting a like a watch of Deep Space Nine soon, a rewatch. Like um, for the longest time, oh, I sound like a broken record, but I know there's lots of new people here, so uh, I'll uh, I'll give you the gist of the 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 thoughts in my mind. Um, for the longest time, like I always had this idea in my head that like if you're gonna enjoy something, watch something new. And then, then, I don't know, I just got really fatigued. There's always something coming out. And, you know, you open up Netflix. There's always some new show. And, and I just got really fatigued with it. And just decided to, like, start re-watching stuff that I loved from before. And I, I was just like, this is, like, quality entertainment. Like, re-watching the stuff that really inspires you. Hey! Scar's a, uh, Scar's a Trekkie. Yeah, it's a fantastic show. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, so like, like watching, watching stuff that you know you really enjoy, like you can take a lot of pleasure in that, like just enjoying it again on a deeper level, looking more into the show and its meanings and characters and learning things about them and stuff. And uh, and I realized like, yeah, that's that's the way to do it, like. This whole idea of you always got to be watching something new. There's just a lot of 
mediocre stuff coming out all the time. So I've been I've been doing like a fair bit of like rewatching and I've been watching rewatching some Deep Space, not Deep Space Nine, the Next Generation episodes. Um, been watching a few episodes of Classic Trek as well. I think I'm gonna start watching uh, Deep Space Nine because the other thing that I chose to watch recently I wasn't so impressed with. Um, so if any if any of you are Guy Ritchie fans, like the guy has made some really awesome unique movies mostly about like the british mobster character and it's got this new show out on netflix called gentleman and it is it is strange it is really um i don't know just something about the characters and the way they acted it's all very like i don't think stiff is the right word but very like dry and straightforward and Maybe a little predictable, but at the same time, like, kind of entertaining. You want to see where the story goes. And I just wasn't that impressed with it. Wooden? Yeah, I think wooden's a good term for it. The new show is amazing. If you're if you're new to Guy Ritchie, I could understand, like, being impressed with that style. If it's, like, your first exposure to it. Uh, but as someone who's seen a lot of his movies, it just, it all feels a bit like like expected predictable but yet the characters don't feel very deep they feel quite i don't know a lot of the dialogue is very like feeding you the story and there isn't a lot of character development you're just going to sort of get thrusted into the one thing after another and yeah it's just giving me this vibe of like i don't know could be could be re-watching something you know you really enjoy Anyway, what do we think of this? Like, it's going to need more on top of it. The thing is, it sort of looks like, it sort of looks like some paneling that you would, not paneling, but like floor tiles that you would walk over and, I don't know quite what I think of it. It feels very paint by numbers, says Mac. Yeah, that's another good way of putting it. Hmm. Uh, let's read these noises coming through. Oh, there's quite a few. Vega Botane, thank you for the prime. Dcaz102, thank you for subscribing. Mond Farmer here for two months. Am I imagining things or does your mic sound different? Maybe a bit echoey. I, I have had like just the worst thing with my microphone, right? Like I used the Logitech G330 for so long and then I changed to this one that I'm currently using and people commented a lot on what it sounded like, like preferences and stuff. And then all of that kind of died down. It became normal. Then I got this condenser mic, which I switched to. So I've had this, the one that I'm using on my head, I probably had for like over a year. I get this condenser mic and I'm going to give it a go again. I had trouble with using condensers in the past, but let's give it a try. And immediately people are telling me on my live stream that it sounds really good. And on my videos, they're telling me it sounds really bad. Like, I get this really mixed response. If I stream with it, people sound says it sounds great. If I upload it to YouTube, people don't like it. And so I've had a lot of comments recently about my mic sounding off or different. And I was like, uh, you know, like I've even installed more soundproofing and stuff like that. And it didn't work out. I've just not going to use the um, condenser mic anymore. And I switched back to the old one. And since I switched back to the old one, I'm still getting these weird messages. Like people are saying like you sound different. There's an echo and all that. And I'm like, but but I'm using the one that I did before where people didn't say anything about that. Kleenex box is a great sound insulator. It, it's quite possible that if I put a box around the uh, the condenser mic, it might capture the, the echo or whatever it is. But the, the thing is, it's like my... Like, I've got a big curtain behind me, and I've got things on the wall. I've got pads on the ceiling that absorb all the sound. Like I don't understand why people hear this echo. I can kind of hear it a little bit myself, too. Like, I'm not saying anyone's imagining anything. I also hear it, but it just doesn't make much sense, because I've done a whole bunch of soundproofing, and, ah, uh, you know...
I feel like it's no soundproofing, it's editing and coding settings. It could be, it could be. I could tweak things and look into it again. But honestly, I'm kind of exhausted with making all these changes and uh, just constantly getting feedback that's very like mixed and I'm not really sure where to go with it. Right, um, I think we figured out what we'll probably just leave as the roof for now. Like and add some more details later. I think I think this is pretty decent. I got some other ideas for things to put up there, but oh, maybe an antenna. Oh my god, I need like a sign. Give me a sign. Okay, we need an antenna. Do you know who would be great for building an antenna? Scar. I feel like Scar could build an amazing antenna. I feel like I've probably seen that in a Scar build before. These are the things that I don't do in Minecraft, right? Like I don't put real world objects into my builds but as i'm trying to learn from other hermits i just see it over and over again I, I, i'm like it's always been there but like now i'm really trying to learn it's like of course you gotta you gotta bring a little bit of um the real world you know and and what works about that is that when you're referencing something we like intuitively know because we see it in the real world then it it really helps make for a better build and Whenever I try and bring a little bit of stuff from the real world into my builds, like, you just start to see that. Let's get a little more terracotta than that. Like, the purpose of the ender chest is not to, um... The purpose of the ender chest here is not to create everything you need for the build. It's to provide you with access to every block so that you can sketch things out. And then, you know, we'll, we'll go off and get all the resources we need later on, something like that. Right, let's uh, let's now pull down some of the scaffolding. Uh-huh. And like, we're gonna, we're gonna walk out here. By the way, this might not be a secret forever. Like at some point, it might make sense to open it up and show the hermits. So I think we'll start off with it as a secret, but this will be a step up. So this will be the floor level. And we want the hermits to walk in and see the competition. So in order to see it, uh, we need to put it on the walls. Okay. If it's going to be nine wides, then that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Probably want a little bit of space. So like that's, that's the width that will work for that wall. I think. So like when we have that wall, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Gap this thing. Okay. So now we need, um, hmm. Let's say, let's actually say we might put like an additional block here. Give ourselves some wiggle room, some depth for decor. So that means this is the gap, then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more block, and then it goes this way across. Right, we have now sketched out the uh, dimensions of the walls of this thing, which may not actually be made out of this material, funny enough. Hmm. Right, do we have some dirt lying around? I think it might make sense just to sketch the floor out with dirt and put blocks on top of it. It would appear, though... That my dirt supply is kind of limited. Where on earth will I get more dirt from, eh? <laughs> uh, I put torches in my inventory a minute ago because there's some areas here that are getting a bit sketchy. And on the roof as well. And on the roof. So, I was reading some noises in the air. Uh, where did we get up to? Mond Farmer and their question about my mic. So, Super Kirby, thank you for three months. Tablin, thank you for the two. Ash6470, thank you for the prime. Astronomic Cap, thank you for the prime. Retro Mum, 702. 20 months, appreciate you. And DeBear73 with some cheers and biddies. Thank you for your generosity. As always, appreciated, peeps. Thank you for supporting us, Hermits, and uh, hope you all are entertained. Doesn't Joe Hill have a ton of dirt? Joe Hill. Joe Hills definitely has a bunch of dirt. We saw it earlier. We saw the dirt earlier. And it was filthy. Alright, so that's the floor. Therefore, 
Uh, this is going to be like the floor of the second room. That's, yeah, okay. I'm building it in the spot that I need to build it, basically. Yep. Okay. Let's get this marked out, essentially. <laughs> Zuma, isn't it wider on one side? Ugh. Ugh. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, it's not. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then we should hit the wall. Yep, we'd hit the wall. First time at Craft Steam Stream says Jesse GG Lord. Welcome, my dude. Welcome to your first time at Craft Stream. If you don't know what Hermitcraft is, dang, go to hermitcraft.com. Watch some videos, find out, figure it out. An amazing SMP community that I've been a part of since the very beginning. Very fortunate and blessed to be here. Because we've got an amazing community. What does partner anniversary mean? I, I In March of nine years ago, I got my Twitch partnership. So I've been streaming for nine years. Is essentially what that means. So, so I'm thinking like this cyan stuff might actually be more of the shell than the actual wall of the room that we're going to create. Um, I'm really feeling like I, I want to go into creative mode again. Like I did all the design for this in creative mode. And I just had so much fun. But you just need that ability to like access blocks quickly and swap them over and put them together. And you just don't get that in survival. I am going to rally on about... <laughs> this for too long aren't i if i'm not careful right i think we need a bit of tree chopper a little bit of uh daytime would be nice too and i was oh my word we got a visitor tracking me through the secret entrance are you buddy this this area here could end up with a lot of item frames because i was thinking of putting item frames on the wall right i also i don't think i've got much leather and i don't think i've got much Sticks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to visit Mumbo shop. I wonder if I've got a hundred diamonds that I could uh, spend there. <laughs> See, now I've got a real reason to shop at other people's shops is to get them over the threshold and get them over here, basically. Um, so I, I'm kind of thinking that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine item frames. And we'll have like a hermit head. And then we'll have... Hmm. I don't have flat textures of these. But actually I think... Oh, that's what I want. I want that in the item frame. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. So I'm going to try and get that in the data pack. Like modeled. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Okay. Um, I'll make a note for after the stream and take care of that. Yeah, so then we can have this cool leaderboard where you can sort of see who's got what. Is that a cool way to do it? Or might I be missing an opportunity to do something a little different? We could have, like, signs with 100, 250. That's kind of boring. Uh, lamps. I, I, it kind of feels like it's the best way to do it, right? And the other question is, would it be better to see everyone in a row... Or, like, split into three categories. I think for space sake, like, three works. But it might be much cooler to see everyone in a big line. Is the other thing I was thinking about. There's a spider on the roof. Why does 27 not work here again? Did I miscount anything? I want to, I want to go double count it. So, like, the, the issue is, is that that's our outside wall then our inside wall would have to be this material here. But then you want to do decorative stuff, so you want both decor for the outside and inside. I think it will just make our building look a bit too big and obnoxious if we uh, change it up. What do you think, chat? I I was asking for y'all opinions. Um, seeing y'all ask about other stuff. Like books. Split into iron, gold, diamond. 
that that doesn't work because we don't have an iron gold diamond system right we have these right i need to grab some of this stuff if i'm going to make a, a move from here Splitting up into groups would be easier to digest. Oh, in, I literally thought having them on one wall would be easier to digest. Splitting them is just to put it in a smaller space, like a more space efficient thing. So three of you have said that that is better. Could make it underground. I kind of didn't want to create like a big staircase going down and because you got to go down and around and I don't know. It just kind of felt like I didn't want to dig out a big area underground. I want to make it a part of the building. So I had... Uh, Decided not to do it that way. Uh, Excamel says, after your talk of the Ninja Creamy on the stream the other day, I brought one. So I shall soon be full of delicious ice cream. I can have some tomorrow. T tomorrow, I am actually going to do, like I haven't done in a long time, get a curry, have a tub of ice cream, mong out for a little bit. Although, I don't feel like I... I, I probably won't mong out for very long because these days, uh, I'm in a different headspace and I really enjoy just uh, doing my things that I do every day, you know? Getting on here and creating stuff, and playing guitar or whatever it is. Um, but it's been a while, so I thought, okay, I'll go on then. I'll have one tomorrow. And uh, I just made a batch of like double chocolate ice cream that is so good. It's the best batch I've made so far. Like I keep keep figuring out how to make them better. Uh, so definitely going to enjoy some ice cream tomorrow as well. You stream 10 to 12. Yes, tomorrow I stream 10 to 12 in the morning. That is correct. That is correct. One room is better. I really like the idea of a flickering light for each milestone. Interesting. Could, could put some lamps behind the item frames. Right, that stuff will all decay now. Uh, I'm going to leave that tree there, but the ones that were close are... Uh... No longer so. All right. Um, yeah, this is this is me kind of like sketching out what's going to come next. I think we can finish the roof today and put some details on it. So that cyan terracotta that I made, that might be enough to finish up that other little something we had going on. Oh, I didn't quite land where I wanted to. Bam. Yeah, like this should tidy this up nicely. Nicely, I say. Up there, over here. Homemade ice cream sounds delicious, says say class. It is, it is. It's um it's not it's not like your normal regular ice cream. Well, actually it can be. Well no let me explain, let me explain. What the ninja creamy has done is identified that you can make what seems pretty much like ice cream using a bit of a different method. And that is to store the ice cream as like a frozen chunk of stuff, right? That you can't actually sit and eat. The trick, the trick is you make the mixture, you put it in the freezer, and then you use the machine to chop it up to the point that it becomes like, like ice cream. And you can make it taste exactly like ice cream, or you can do what I do and just do like the uh, less sugar, protein powder and milk type stuff. Um, which I really like. It works for me. So it's like if you want, if you're trying to make actual, as if you got it from the store ice cream, it's not quite the same, but like it's just as good in other ways. So uh, I, I've, I'm really glad that I got one. I wanted to make a little bit more cyan terracotta. That was the thing. Sometimes you just keep opening boxes and you don't even know why you're just like uh, a, a minecraft inventory sorting zombie all of a sudden you know you're just like oh this goes here that goes there what was i doing again <laughs> i am so ready to play this game where the inventory is like you just think of an item and it gives it to you you know sure you got to collect the resources and stuff at some point but like i'm just ready to build in a different way I'm ready for it. Moyang, come on. Let's let's try something different. Let's change the inventory big time. I think I'll leave the top bit like that. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, we need to go get tough blocks. We need probably to get a bunch of terracotta together for this build. Uh, so some of this stuff go back. Yeah, some of this stuff definitely goes back into the chest. Not that though. Like any regular terracotta. Let's restock like here and now. Keep those supplies up. Any white wall in there? I think we used all of that up. I'm also accumulating a fair few of these shulker boxes just full of stuff to the point where I'm thinking gonna need the old sorting system soon I think you know I've got some ideas maybe we'll talk about them a little bit what would make the inventory better says Merc Dolph I keep going on about this over and over again right like I, I you can do things like make the inventory bigger yada 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 but I, I don't think it gets at the core problem which is Minecraft blocks, there's a lot of them. A lot more when they first made this inventory system. There's a lot of different ways of making them. And survival building comes with this process of like preparation and planning that I think actually hinders the experience. It's always more enjoyable to build stuff in creative, I find. And then survival just kind of becomes um, like, you know, once you've done it in creative, now go grind it out in survival. With exception to, I think, doing decorative, like on the fly stuff, which maybe you can do with building if you've got a better, better builder's brain. But the thing that I go on about is just this, this friction slows you down. And like, if we imagine the inventory being something completely different, the collecting of blocks, the way that you select which one you want to work with, it could be so different. You know, like Deep Slate, there's like... 16 different deep slate blocks you can get out of one deep slate so imagine if rather than having to craft and remember and yada 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 like let's grab some deep slate what if you just went bam and transformed it into something this doesn't have all the deep slate blocks in oh wait they're over they're in these categories okay like what if you could just zoop 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 i want this one now and like so maybe this is this is a material and its value represents that you can use it to create these different textures you know it's not the traditional minecraft way of doing it if you introduce something like that people will go bananas i know all of this i know all of this but imagine what that experience would be like i think it could be amazing like you know rather than having to carry around so many different blocks and organize them what if you just had a set of base materials right like what if there were like 20 different materials and you could you know, you had like the wall block, but then you also had a bag of dyes on you that you never really interacted with. And you had concrete, right? But you, you got those dyes, but you never really interacted with them. And it just, you know, because you've got dyes from somewhere, it just lets you pick out the color you want to place it with. And so instead of jumbling around through chests, finding dyes, opening crafting benches, you're just like, vroom, 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 with your little GUI. And I know some people won't like that. Some people think the other way of doing things is better. Sure. I've just played this game for a long time and I would be happy to... Uh, I'd be happy for a radical change. I'd be happy to reduce the, the friction of managing inventory when it comes to building. I just want to build. You know, change the stack size. Why does it have to be 64? It's, it's iconic. It's a cool number. I get it. But like, the game's moved on from when that was interesting. I think. Because I, I played Minecraft when there was not a lot to it. You know, back in the early day. But even then, it felt like it was a deep game. Where you could do a lot creative creatively. And inventory management was once an interesting thing. I remember being fascinated by like, setting up a rail network to go to the, through the nether to help me move my items in minecart chests. And I'd spend this time. I think it's like I think it's like a season one time lapse you can see from me on my Hermitcraft series, where I'm like actually showing you how I like move the items around the server. And in season two, there's a time lapse of me crafting dispensers because, like, it was so awkward to do that you actually had to like plan out and get a bunch of chests and break them and then get into this little groove of putting the right ingredients together. That was cool when you do it for the first time. When you've been playing this game for 10 years, it's just become dull. It's just become not what the game's about. Uh, let's go sleep in my bed up top. 
Matthias, thank you so much for the Prime, my dude. Tech New Burger, thank you for three months with the Prime as well. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. I found out yesterday that armor stands only stack to 16, and that really irks me. Yeah, again, again, when it was first around, it was kind of interesting balancing mechanism. Like, I think Ender Pearls, when they were more useful before Elytra, the fact that they stack stuck to 16 kind of made them a little bit more valuable right but uh i just still at this point and again i always say like as a someone who has played the game for such a long time these things have just become n not what the game is about anymore it's not about managing these inventory challenges it's just like hey i want to create amazing stuff in the world and not have this whole thing slow me down we should really put all of our ores into uh, a single chest together Anyway, for the project, we need to replenish our tough supply. Let's go check out... Uh, oh, we do have plenty of tough. That, that'll get the roof done, I'm sure of that. Also, I could probably put some of these other ones uh, into our tough chest. Check it out. Mark New! Back for 18 months, that's two. Twitch babies. Have a little prime. And not the silly, the silly energy drink. I had a prime energy drink or tried a bit of it a while back and it wasn't so bad. Um, I heard that they were not actually too bad because they, they were just kind of like electrolytes with flavoring, which is fine. But apparently they, ah, they also sell like a, an actual like Red Bull type energy drink with caffeine and stuff, which I don't think is cool because it gets marketed to kids. So, uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm not in favor of prime. But uh, the non-energy drink stuff, sure. The electrolyte stuff, sure, that's fine. Nothing wrong with getting some electrolytes into your system, right? Ekin says, I'm drinking Monster right now, lol. Hey man, your choice, your choice. You put what you want in your body. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay. I, I wanted tough blocks. I could probably just gather some more. I feel like there was one other thing that I really wanted to uh, to get. Take back there. Oh, Birch, right. We got to go. I, this is what we got to do next. This is the thing that I've been meaning to do. And like when I saw the Birch blocks, it hits me, right? So we got to put Birch blocks and these ones down here. And when I say Birch blocks, I am talking about Birch leaves. I don't have any in here. I don't have any in there, but I got some in the ender chest. Right, let's do this. Let's... Go down to the front of the promenade. I have wanted to do this for a while. Because birch leaves look kind of fantastic in the water. So I think we want to have these things in the water. Those things at the surface. Um, maybe some more... Hmm. I was going to say some of these glowberries, but maybe not. Also, I'm not sure if I really like sand and grass here. Like, I feel like... What's what's a good shore block that kind of... Shoreline block that isn't just Minecraft typical, you know? Did Corrales build the trees yet? Yeah, look at... Oh, this tree that he built right here is my favorite one. And that one over there. Oh, my God. Corrales has done such an amazing job building those trees. <sighs> so good. Dripstone and mud. Mud, definitely a good suggestion. Coarse dirt, I like that. Mushroom insides. I think soul soil might go a bit too strong with the saturation. Like, a bit too brown. Packed mud is a good shout. And, and, and the roots. Let's try, uh, let's try packed mud with... Oh, look, I got that. I'm not sure if I got any actual packed mud anywhere. So we'll have to make some in a second. That's a good shout. Let's have a look in here one more time. I was thinking of putting the occasional moss block or maybe like mossy stone there too. A bit of mossy cobble. I think that, that sounds right to me, mossy cobble. Uh, dirt. We need dirt. We need dirt. We need mossy cobble. I'll have some somewhere. I will have some somewhere. Uh, glow lichen is another detail down there that would help out tremendously. Okay. 
Oh, and another nice thing about this is that you can actually scan over just to look at blocks and have a little think. Deep Slate might... Hmm, maybe not, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think we, we've probably got it. We've probably got it. Here's an idea. You know how, like, mossy... Like, we got... We got mossy uh, cobblestone. We got mossy stone bricks. Like, what if we have mossy tough and mossy deep slate? I think it'd be kind of cool if you could right-click a moss block onto another and make it mossy. I think that'd be superb. Podzol. Podzol's a good shout. Uh, the ship post calligrapher is here with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Uh, interesting username. <laughs> Thank you for bringing your people over here. Uh, Envy Bug is subscribed and Tunker Out is here for two months saying, Hey X, I usually do the same as you were doing today. I exercise at the home gym while I watch your VODs. Awesome, my dude. Awesome. I, I don't actually, like, it's only when I go on the treadmill that I watch a video, right? Like, I, oh, dang it. I forgot to make mud. I find it, like, I've tried listening to podcasts when working out. I prefer music prefer music music's a bit more subconscious and i find that i want to focus on my movement and form and stuff and if i'm listening to people talk i'm a little too like involved in that like it distracts me a little too much but uh my, my working out has been going great lately i've been really enjoying it haven't had an injury in ages been up in the weights have been eating a lot more food and feeling more energetic and just having a really good time of it at the moment. Tomorrow, though, I'm actually going to take a day off. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Actually taking a day off. Going to go for a nice long walk. Going to walk the dog. Um, not too much else planned. Going to stream. Going to have a curry. You know? Treat myself or something. So, uh, with this thing... Most of the time don't work for me. Let's find out. Let's find out if it's going to work for me today. Oh, it's actually working for me. I thought I was going to have to do some click timing magic here. Good on you. A day off is good for mental health, says Braveheart. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like I need a day off from anything. I've, I've been doing Hermitcraft and all my videos for quite a while now at a pace that just works for me. Like, I am just enjoying it if I'm doing it. And that's why I haven't, like, during the pandemic, I think we were kind of overdoing it a little bit as creators. We were just stuck indoors, right? And, yeah, I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's just a creator thing. Everyone went through something during that, you know? And I think it just affected things in a way where I constantly, like, needed a break. It is a turn. Like, it probably wasn't even about creating. It was probably just about the situation itself. And now that things are air quotes back to normal, or the new normal, let's say, and I got myself in a good headspace as a creator, I, I don't actually need a break, right? Like, I, I genuinely just go with what feels right. And if I'm making lots of episodes of Hermitcraft, it's just because I'm having a great time, you know, and enjoying myself. I just watched Doc's VOD. Has the viewer been that generous for all the hermits that are breaking Doc's special case, says Siam Mystic? People have been mad generous today, and I am immensely appreciative of all the gifted subs and all the support that people give. Uh, forever and always, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Dude, like... Did it... I don't know if it made, like... I don't think it made a single... Yeah, it didn't make a single mistake. Oh, it's just me and Scar on. No wonder it actually worked. Oh, my God. Usually there's people on. Usually there's people on. There's a few people away this uh, weekend. It's been kind of quiet. Okay, let's go up. Is there any link where I can find all of Asunima's current mods? Unfortunately not. I haven't put together something like that. Um... 
I probably could do something kind of simple, like just put a list of them on a website, but then like people will ask for more. Um, yeah, I, I, I like to, I like to, you know, show these things off and let people know what they are and where they're at and stuff. Um, but with some of it, I don't because like it just gets too technical, like with some of the server stuff. I've had people asking me about like the synchronization of the um, GitHub repo and stuff like that. And it's just like, this stuff is just too technical. Like, I, I get, I, you know, I get the, like, if you're asking the question, if you had the know-how to do it, right, the technical do-how, you, you'd be out there doing it. It's kind of, kind of the feeling I get about it, right? Like, it's, uh, actually, oh my god, I don't think I like that. I think I like that either. I think sand actually might be the way I want to go here. Um, and the thing I was really keen for doing was just putting some of this down, really. Like a few birch leaves here and there just kind of looked right. Dude, why is it night again? Let's uh, change the time. Retired cowboy, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it, my dude. Appreciate it. You ever use shaders? Oh, where did I leave my bed? I've left my bed somewhere or put it in the wrong box. What the heck? That's not like me, is it? That's not like me. Usually way more organized. Would it be best just to post a mod list for those who really want to look at themselves? Yeah, I'll, I'll think of somewhere to put it. Like maybe a page on my website and whatever. It's just that it won't be great. It will just be like a list of the mods and then... Like, I feel like that might just fuel more questions, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's start with the roots. I feel like these roots are kind of, like, kind of easy. You just, you just, maybe sometimes in little clusters, but you can get away with, uh, like, a bunch of these along the dirt, and they just, they just add something. You know, you don't really see it. Um, like, it's not in your face, but it's there. And you'll pick up on it naturally. Like along the shoreline, there's just these blocks here. You know, they just kind of exist. They look good. Right? Like that's so subtle, but like you can see it in the water. And it's just it just adds a little more to this area. Add a few more here and there. Okay, then as for these uh as for these birch ones hmm i'm really thinking sand or across the whole thing might just be the way to go here like i feel like it's probably the contrast that it's offering that i'm like that i find appealing let's get a little bit of sandstone as well does it actually have sand in it it does uh wait which i need so like grab some what it's there for who is the richest hermit in my opinion my opinion would be one of ignorance because i don't know i think vintage beef might be actually i know beef's made uh, a lot of sales it's also got a nice kind of contrast with the uh, birch i think i'm gonna go with this this feels like uh the way to do it i saw another hermit use brown stained glass panes oh and brown candles to make read that is some dedication right there those are really nice ideas they feel like they take a lot of effort but i feel like today might just be the day to try something like that oh my goodness me i've just seen what the time is. how does it go so quick like, it feels like it goes extra quick on stream weekends i don't know what that is but like i do a lot of streaming and it's always the stream weekends that seem to whiz by. And you're like, whoa, it's, wait, it's that time already? Like, what is going on here? What is going on here? Can I, can I like, I think, I think if I shift click, yeah, it places it through it. Mm. Like we're going to end up with a lot that are just like right on the shoreline. So we want to variate that a little bit as we go along here, I think. Uh, and you have a deadline for stream weekends. Yes, we do have deadlines. Yeah, that's a good point. 
That is a good point. I, I, are you suggesting that the deadline makes it feel like it goes faster or something? Because that could be that could be so. I could see that being a thing. Like it on the sand to look like seaweed. That is, dude, nice one. Like I brought it because oh, it'll just it'll just change things up a little bit and add some light down here. Now yet you, now you're adding some real some real meaning to it. It's washed up. Oh my god, it looks so good. I am I am loving doing little details like that this season. This has been so much fun to uh, come out here and put in these little tiny details. We can also put them in the water. Be waterlogged. Mr. Mr. Baker is here with donation. Thank you, my dude. Hey, X. <laughs> roots. Muddy roots. I can't I can't do scream voices. Roots. Muddy roots. Uh, Great terracotta and maybe smooth basalt make a nice muddy palette for below the water. Great ideas, my dude. I appreciate the suggestions. Right now, I, I'm fixed on the shoreline here. I don't think I'll do too much more with the below the shoreline stuff but um like here we could probably do a fair bit of this and it would probably look pretty good right yeah i think i think we want to use it a little more sparingly actually thank you for the donation my dude appreciate the tip i love getting suggestions um from all y'all but i do i do then have to like pick what works for me and sometimes that's just like I just want to throw down a few blocks in this area. And, um, yeah, I think smooth basalt and all of that might be going a bit far for me. Just trying to, just trying to get, like, a lot for a little, if that makes sense. That way you can do stuff at scale more. Uh, we need to have our birch leaves here. Oh, do you know what? Let's actually just leave them alone for, like, that little section and then bring them back. Because... Sometimes when you're doing this kind of stuff, like if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again, it can look very repetitive uh, and you can notice that. I mean, I, I, I've learned everything I'm saying. I've been learning from these amazing hermits, right? And there, there are so many cool ideas. Like when you put law and reason into like why you're doing stuff, you can tell natural stories. So like we could, we could just say like, okay, Every now and then, one of these is going to have moss. And then because it's got moss, it means this thing's growing here. And therefore, we use these blocks. And, th and these things can just, like, develop a natural cohesion that you can, can see without having to be told. Like, actually, actually, here, I think just leaving it as grass for one section might actually be a good shout. Um, and then get a bit of this stuff in. But yeah, like, I'm throwing down blocks a bit randomly at the moment, right? Like, we could actually put a lot more uh, reason into these blocks, but I don't know. Like, don't try and do it all at once. I'm learning, so I'm happy to kind of go at this current pace we got, I think. Okay, Elf Sofrasi. Elf Sofrasi. I've either butchered that, or you've got an amazingly cool pronunciation for your name. <laughs> Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Appreciate it. This is super late for X, right? Yeah, Scar was saying like he didn't expect to see me on at this time. This this time of day for me usually is, right, like when I play guitar and then winds down. I'll be on the server, you know, here and there, but usually I'm not streaming uh, this time. This is a little late for me to stream. But I was happy to do it today. Um, like, if I stream in the morning, things get a little bit tight on a weekend if I've got stuff going on and like I want to I want to be on top of my workout and um, you know getting getting things done and like it can be a bit awkward just to squeeze one in so today I was just like yeah I can't I can't do it unless it's the evening and I got given uh, the late slot I could couldn't have really done any earlier actually again it would have been too tight because I've been out during the day yeah really cool uh, like here where we left a little bit of grass in and you got these ones here. They just synergize a little bit. I feel like we could we could have done a better job here with just a little more thought, but um, it just looks really good. I'm actually really stoked with that. That's very nice, and it's just a, a small part of the picture, really, because we're going to keep keep working on this. Um, I'm starting to feel though like the project is kind of coming into its own, 
and we need to like follow and look at what's happening here. So we've got the promenade out the front of the two buildings. We're going to have a bridge over here, which I'm going to do my best to do something on a diagonal, a two block diagonal. And we've got this cutoff over here where these trees are. I think I might put a bit of foliage down there and kind of create that as a natural cutoff point. And when we go in this direction, it feels to me like I don't think Jevin's going to do much with this space. So rather than have this flower forest with trees between us, maybe I'll put my next building here, right? And one of the buildings I need to build will be a storage system, and that's going to be quite big. So I might put it over there, right? But I kind of want to feel a little more connected to the community over here. So potentially I could pick out a spot in this area and build some sort of building here and have my storage system there or go for this space. The only problem with here is that it looks like someone's got something planned there. Hypno's over there. This is eventually going to be the spawn chunks, which is why this has been marked out. And then it gets a little bit cramped and I kind of like how open the view of my build is here at the moment. Hey, Cybot's in chat. Cyber actually uh, helped or did most of the uh, storage system that I plan on building at some point. I need to I need to go over it again because there's kind of been some changes, I guess. Like I don't know, the crafters going to introduce a few new concepts for storage and stuff, but I don't know. Maybe maybe not too much has actually changed. Um, but if I put it here, I've got a feeling it might be a bit too big for another temple. So, yeah, I'm at, a, I'm at an interesting point now where I'm trying to figure out what to do. Um, if we look up here at the paths again, like, this is really nice, the way this path comes into this space. I think it would look really nice to have a path go around here up to Jevin. Like, through this, literally, like, along that space there. <gasps> Loglands! Loglands! Something's happening at Loglands! Oh, gosh, what could that be? What could that be? Uh, Dragons AM, thank you for the prime. Mike Blow Blogowski, Blogowski, thank you for your prime, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yes, more paths. Paths are are an amazing ingredient for the Minecraft world, aren't they? Order a river from Falls to make a moat. I yeah, the thing is, I've already got my river right. Like I got a river here. And then uh, down here, it could probably do with some work. Um, but yeah, like, the river thing that False is doing over here, looking awesome. Man, this place looks cool at night, doesn't it? Looks cool. It might end up being like a river through here. And then if there was, it would kind of make this like a natural point to come through to go to the bridge over there. That would be cool. Uh, have we got a bed? Oh, of course we've got a bed. It's just like, where is it? Oh, it's not in there. Wait. I put it back. I didn't put it back where it should go. I put it into where... Oh, whatever. Is there going to be a sacrificial altar in respect to the origin of American culture? Of original American culture? No. Um... That's, I don't know, like, I, I okay, I'm not going to build a sacrificial altar, I don't know. Jeez, I should read these messages before I pick them out sometimes. <laughs> there will be no sacrificial altar. Um, haha, <laughs> first time I heard it pronounced like that, it's an old blogging name. Think Big Lebowski. It's Mike Blo Blogowski, Blogowski, oh god, it's too much for my brain to handle. Too much. So yeah, with the uh, with the front of the promenade here. Oh yeah, brown mushroom blocks might be something we put into this a little bit too. Probably probably good to do. Again, telling stories with blocks, but like probably better to put coarse dirt on this side, and the brown mushroom blocks closer to that side there. I think they'll look good. Um. But yeah, with this area over here, like, obviously I've been taking my time with it, but like, I've actually found a lot of pleasure in just doing things a little bit at a time rather than trying to, like, jump to whatever the end result is going to be, you know? And what we've got 
is me currently feeling like you've got this overgrown bushy thing going on. And we need like a border here with some blocks. Maybe just some trapdoors. And then I kind of want to maybe turn this space here into a spot with stalls and things. And then I think over on this side, having the overgrowth just kind of like go straight up to the wall makes a lot of sense. You'll notice like a few little things here and there that I might have tweaked and changed with that. Let's, uh, let's try a little something. Ah, oh, dang it. My little try something failed immediately. And I've got you to deal with. So yeah, on this side, like let's go ahead and change it so that these blocks are more over there now. I think it'll be subtle, but I think it will help a lot. I really like the mush blocks there. What are mush blocks? They sound so cool. Retired Cowboy, thank you for gifting a sub to Frozen Llama. Oh my god, we are like closing in and I have not played the gifted sub animation yet. This is for all of y'all. I want to see it on my other screen. Yeah, I'm going to put it up on my other screen. Like, we've had some tremendous support today. Not only not only for myself, I've seen it on the other Hermit stream. Y'all are an amazing community. And, uh... Like, I can say thank you, but we've also got this way of saying thank you, which is extremely cool. So, enjoy. This is for all y'all out there, being a part of this beautiful community. You probably hear me like breaking and placing blocks. I'm still minecrafting. I haven't gone anywhere. You could you could possibly figure out what blocks I'm breaking just by listening to the sounds. There's so much detail in this game these days. I'm not K. I'm glad my streams have been of help to you, my dude. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. Um, trap doors next. <laughs> Animation is so awesome. I love it. Who remembers the uh, season nine start date video? And then we had to change the start date. Oh, that was the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, that video was like one of these, but voice acted. It's uh, worth a watch if you've not seen it before. You mean the one you left the release date on the last frame and it was very visible to Skyfire? Oh, come on, give me a break. It wasn't very visible, was it? You know, it was visible. I wouldn't say it was very visible. Jeez. Like it was a split for frame at the end or something. Yeah, thank you everyone so much. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope the uh, silliness brought a little bit of joy to you. Right, now Mr. Joe Hills is streaming next in five minutes. Um, I don't know if Joe's out there getting set up. So, oh, he's popped on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was wondering when I saw it was me and Scar earlier, and I've missed Joe logging on. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out what to do at the front here. This is kind of nice. Saplings in flower pots might be a good way to go. I just feel like we need some sort of structure or, or something going on here. I, I can't quite describe it, but like, it just needs a little more that feels right. Got any other type of sapling that'll fit in there? I don't know. Yeah, it just it just feels like something's missing to separate these. Add some rocks. Some rocks in the actual leaves is probably a pretty oh my god, look at my inventory. It's happened again. Like the occasional tough block, maybe? Or a little patch of them, like that. Could possibly, uh, you know, just a couple of those here and there. I get that, yeah. That's kind of nice, actually. Really kind of break it up a bit. Maybe needs um, some lichen on it. 
Pod soul? Stone buttons? Hmm. There's many things we could do here. Flowering, actually flowering azalea leaves. That sounds real on point. My god. This inventory is disgusting, isn't it? Wait, what did I just grab? Oh, I, wait, I, okay, I grabbed the wrong thing and put it down there. That's absolutely fine. That'll happen. Uh, this, like these in there? Interesting idea. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Kind of pretty. I do like that. Um, I have used these elsewhere in the build, but I, I think there's no reason I can't use them again. Let's have them down the front here looking a little bit prettier. Let's make it a little on the noisy side. Uh, I think I might take back these pots if we're doing something like that. So yeah, that, that's anyway, this is kind of like where I'm at with this build. It's just like I take my time and I piece things together a little bit here and there. But it's it's not all the way there yet. You know, we're working on it. Might also make sense to use a different contrast for the trapdoors because they kind of they kind of blend with the color down here a little bit. A lot of thought can be put into Minecraft builds, really. Um, yeah, there's a lot of depth to this game. Uh, Joe Hills is by the hourglass in the shopping district when we are ready. Joe, wait, I've got to, I've got to actually say it to him. I'm on my way. We just need to declutter this inventory slightly for a second, and then we can move. We can make a move. Uh, right. So putting things back where they belong. Tough. No. Wait. What was it? That one. Okay. Got to pass this over. And tidy up all of this. It's not pretty, but uh, it'll it'll do the job for now. Let's get over there. Spruce trapdoors. Yeah, I feel like a contrasting trapdoor is a good idea. I also want to build some structures on here, and I think those structures should probably have a different block palette. I'm also really tempted to go with bamboo over there. But it's a slow process, and I actually enjoyed that. That's been a lot for me lately, actually. It's like taking things slower. Been in the past, I've been such a like productivity freak. Feels like it's like extended into consumption as well, and I'm learning to like slow everything down. You know, enjoy things a bit more, be in the moment more. And so this season, I've actually been like, you know. Just chipping away at the project, walking back and forth, passing it, taking my time, thinking about things. It's been very pleasurable to play at a different pace. So, yeah. Um, right, so Joe is at the hourglass. And uh, we're heading over there. Taking the game slower also prevents burnout. Burnout isn't really a concern for me anymore. Like, I've, I've been through what that is, and I feel like I know how to manage it. Hey! Howdy there, Howdy, Joe. X. Yeah, I was uh, just going to run to a bed real quick, but uh, you know, we can probably race the sun here. Yeah, the yeah. The sun is setting. I've got, I've got a nice little couch in my wool shop, Ooh. you know, in order to showcase how soft that cotton is. It's <laughs> spider wool. You know, nature. Oh, sheep. the best. You know, the best way to uh, nature's sheep. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Tw twice the legs and even more silk. Oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. By the way, Joe, I um, I brought books from your shop the other day, right? Oh yeah. To, to unenchant them, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I'm so glad yeah. that what I've worked so hard for has such great value. Yeah, like you got you got the the bum enchantments. I mean, you need some of them on occasion, but like there is an alternative use. I think you should put the grindstone here and be like, you know, you can use my grindstone for free. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know. Yeah, that's that's not a terrible idea. I, I can figure out idea. how to make one of those. Yeah, that's a good thank idea. you, Asuma. And uh, sound business advice. I, I heard you're trying to get everybody's sales numbers up, so oh, I can yeah, see that. That was you're my next. Incentivized. Pitch. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I was just about to ask, how many diamonds have you made so far this season, Joe? I have no idea how many diamonds I've made so far this oh. season. It's more than 50, but I have not been keeping track. I see. Well, you should start so, at 50. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can just say that I'm at 50 right now. Because, yeah, I had around 50. So, I don't know how many I spent on books. Probably <laughs> three or four. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's start at 50. And then uh, when, when you get to 100, that's when, you know, uh, you can get the first trophy. I was, I was hoping I'd be able to rope you over there today and, and get you sorted, but uh, I guess not. Well, yeah, I'm just I'm just not quite there, but I'm sure that once the uh, Tough and Calcite shop opens, Ooh. that's that's my last one. That's going to be in a few weeks. Dude, um, I might be a tough customer because... Uh, <laughs> you are a tough customer, so you, <laughs> out, you, you know how to stand up for yourself. You wear a terrifying scream mask. Uh, yeah, I think tough customer. I think Asuma. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I've been, I've been building with it a lot. Um, so oh, yeah. Fantastic. Do you like getting tough? Is is quite easy? Is it is it a thing getting the resource? Because if you didn't know, with the right pick and a haste beacon, you can like instant mine those patches, and they spawn in massive mm. blobs underground. So it's like it's actually quite easy to get a lot of it. I just didn't know if you knew that. Yeah, I've actually got uh, permission from Doc to follow behind his tunnel bore because it exposes oh, a lot of tough veins. Perfect. He just needs to get the tunnel bar tunnel bore far enough along that there's no risk of me accidentally blowing it up. Yeah. So I'm just giving him a little bit more time to creep that forward before I go in there and start mining in earnest. That's a great strategy. You're going to get tons of the stuff. You're going to have no trouble. Oh, it yeah, won't sure. be tough to get all that tough. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh. Uh, check this out, Joe. This is our. Uh, this is an amazing idea. So you know we have a stream torch. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to have a lore capsule. So over the weekend Ooh. we put in items that tell the lore of. Oh, I've just realised, like, because it's in order. So Ren was first, right? The second one is Doc. Doc is apparently rich. Um, False was third, wasn't she? I've got a feeling this well, is going to be related a lot of to the questions rivers. About before I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I saw Cub. And then Cub I saw was you. the firework, yeah, and then I am the sale. Like I've launched my sale shop, so that's my law at the moment. Um, oh, fantastic! So yeah, today and tomorrow we're all going to put in some items, and then this shulker box gets buried and reopened in a year, which I thought was just genius. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Yeah, I guess I need to check Rendog's schedule to see. Oh, you cut out. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've started to alt tab to look at Rendog's schedule. I have to figure out who's streaming first in the morning so I can leave it somewhere that they can find it. I'll post a screen. Uh, is that is that me? Am I first tomorrow or am I after someone? Uh, let me check. I'm going to cut out. I'm again pretty sure I'm first. Yeah. My chat is telling me it's me. I was I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was. you're definitely first. Okay. okay. Um, do you have... Uh, is there a good place? You know, I, I can just have you come pick it up from where I'm going to be working today. Here, if you want me to show you what I'm going to be working on, your viewers might be interested. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They'll want to know because so, they're all going to come over in a minute, of course. I'm excited. I've been preparing for over a day. Oh, wow. For this. Doc did some of the legwork to get the foundation of this in. Um, you know, the, the rough hourglass shape and whatnot, you know. Yeah, yeah. Decoration and detailing. But each of uh, the permit holders in the log collective has one fifth of this basin here. And it's kind of like uh, the viewers might remember in Decked Out 2 how there's different alcoves. Mm. So this is my permit, and this is my undecorated alcove. So over the course of the stream today, and maybe tomorrow, depending on how much we get done, I'm going to be decorating this. I'm going to be integrating some of the fireworks that Cub uh, has hooked us up with from his incredible fireworks shop. You know, just just imagine that you walk through here and there's an invisible tripwire that just fires one of these. Ooh. I got some of those Except, today. They're cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking with dispensers that fire them like horizontally, it'll look oh. really exciting. Yeah, that and sounds awesome. Pro probably terrifying, you know? If, if you're not terrified of the log collective yet, you will be. <laughs> so I need to come in here tomorrow morning and see those fireworks, right? Exactly. And so I will, uh, how about I will leave this right here. Awesome. So that you can come inspect that tomorrow morning and also retrieve that. Yeah. Wonderful, Joe. That's so cool. 
Uh, I will I will be doing that. Oh man, this this is I'm like madly distracted now by the amount of stuff going on here. Wow. Well, you know, you're part of collectives too. You know, you can start brainstorming with your uh, fellow collective members. Ah, uh, right? we have a little How bit of a plan, I think. Out. The wool collective are going to do something together at some point. Ooh, well, a I am a, a I am a wool holder, so I'm looking forward to working with you on that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, we'll get that sorted out at some point. There's so much stuff going on though, like you know, oh, I know. projects here, there, <laughs> and everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm just like, you know what? I'm just not even going to start on the Tough and Calcite shop for four weeks. I've got too much else to do. Yeah. I want to do that stuff right, and I'll get to that, and then I'll do that right. You know? Good idea. You can't do it all at once. Exactly. Yeah. Right, I'm going to send my people over, Joe. Thank you again. And uh, I will be back here in the morning, I guess. Excellent. Thank cool. you so much, Asuma. Have a great night. Thanks for streaming. All right, people. It's time to go raid Joe. Uh, not much else for me to say, really. You know, like, we've reached the end of the stream. You know what's up. Thank you ever so much, everyone, for your tremendous support. I'll be back here again tomorrow morning in 12 hours. 10 to 12. So, 10... No, yeah, 12 hours. That's that's the number. 12 hours from now, I'll be live again. Um, There you go. Right, I'm ending the stream and I'm raiding Joe. Take care, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.